Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to make a thumbnail using Adobe Express. Adobe Express is a pretty new app that Adobe released, and if I can compare it to something that we already know, it's very similar to Canva, which I often use. So I'm very excited to be trying out Adobe Express more and trying out all of its features. Express also has a free option and a paid option, just like Canva. So most of the things and the features and everything is free on Adobe Express, but you have some premium content and things that you can use and templates that you can use that you need to pay for, and you just need the paid subscription for that. But if you already have have a Creative Cloud subscription, you automatically have access to all the unlimited features of Adobe Express, which is really cool as well. But okay, that's enough about Adobe Express. Now let's actually take a look at the app that you have on your phone and how to make a thumbnail on there. Now this is Adobe Express, this is what it looks like. Now the reason that I'm doing this on my phone and not say on my computer or on a tablet is just because I want to show you exactly that this is very usable for anyone with any device. Now, obviously it's easier to do it on a laptop with a bigger screen and everything, but you have your phone here and it has all the same capabilities as you would have on a laptop and it's just so easy to use on your phone as well. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be sharing you guys on my phone, how to do this. Now let's go into the app so I can show you guys an overview of what it looks like. So once you open up the app, you'll see immediately you have a bunch of templates. Obviously you need to sign in first and everything, but here we have it and I have an Adobe subscription, but if you don't, all this that you're seeing right now is already free to use. Um, you'll know if something is paid um, if you have this little crown icon in the bottom right but most of this is already free most of these templates as you can see um, and that is so cool that you have so many things at your disposal for free at the top here you have created new projects so here you can see all the things you can do with that so you can create new projects and use those as templates then let's scroll down a bit more and here you can see just a bunch of templates that they have here. There are so many you can choose from. And then when you click on this plus button here, you have your options for even more things. So either you can go ahead and start from here and start from a solid color, a photo from your photo library or a video or even more, or you can use quick actions. So I just wanna quickly cover quick actions. So these are just, if you don't wanna make a whole project or a whole design, you just wanna quickly do something, you can quickly remove a background from a photo which we're going to get into a bit later but as you can see you can do that here you can resize an image convert to a gif um, and they have even more merge video and then more coming soon start from here you can see all the more options that they have here as well um, so this is really really cool and you have all these things that you can do for quick actions so what I'm gonna do for my YouTube thumbnail is I'm gonna go to a create new project section over here and I'm just gonna scroll until I find the YouTube thumbnail size which is this one here and then they bring you up all the templates of YouTube thumbnails that they have so they have each different categories and within that category you have different templates as you can see so say you have a travel channel you can go here and look at all the templates they have for that so they have different types here that you can look at but where I'm gonna be going I'm just gonna be using a blank canvas which is this one here so I'm just gonna click on that and once you've selected that here you can see this is what it looks like you have text here immediately I'm just gonna quickly delete that because we're gonna get into that a bit later so here's an overview of your entire workspace so here you have your canvas where you're gonna go ahead and create your design and here in the bottom we have even more things so you have add and and here you can add different things. You can add text, design assets, which we're gonna get into, photos, Adobe stock, shapes, stickers, backgrounds, videos, logos, and a new page. Here are the colors. You can go ahead and choose your color palettes. You have animation here, which I think will be very useful when you've started to add things to your project. You have layout here. So this is more for collages and things like that. Here you also see you have like banners and things like that. And then lastly, we have resize here. So for my thumbnail, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in a photo that I already took for a thumbnail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start editing from there. So I'm gonna click on add and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on photos and I'm gonna go ahead and choose photo library once I've selected a photo it will ask choose where to add pin to background or move freely so for this I'm gonna go ahead and choose pin to background so that it won't really move around all that much and um, once I have that set I can go ahead and do some other things here so I can replace it remove the background move freely or delete that's in the edit section in the adjust section we have some other things that you can do so flip it scale it rotate it looks here has some little filters that you can add here 
or have a blur effect and then enhance here is more for color correcting and adjusting contrast and things like that but this image is already good for that so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on done down here now that I have my image imported what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna re-import that image and this one I'm gonna choose move freely but the reason I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna make sure it is the same size as that image. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on remove background and it's gonna go ahead and start processing that. And then we have my I, myself basically cut out and I can move it anywhere I want. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is that this is just something that I do for every single one of my thumbnails. Um, and I'm gonna get into why I do this. But yeah, so now we have my background and then me as a cutout. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the add section here and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the design assets section. I actually couldn't find something that I really liked in the design asset section, but they have so many things here that you can choose from. Um, they have so many little graphics that you can add to your designs just to add something to it. Um, these are endless and you can search different things. They have different categories. So here are some illustrations, brushes, all that kind of cool stuff that I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, I couldn't find something there though for my background. So where I did go actually was I went to Adobe Stock um, and they have so many things here. Most of these things are actually, you do need the premium version for it. Um, but the one that I got here um, does not require the premium version. So yeah, this is the one that I chose. Um, and I just got that from the Adobe Stock section. You can even go to the background section here, which also has a bunch of cool images and things that you can use as backgrounds as well for your designs. So you can even go there to find something that you're looking for but yeah this is the one that I decided to go with and I'm just gonna resize it so that it fills my entire screen uh, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger so that the greens not so visible I like the orange and the pink and things more so like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and order it. So that means I'm gonna send it to the back. So I want my cutout of myself to be in front of this image. So I'm just gonna send it to the back a bit. So I'm just gonna toggle this back just like that. So this is then what it's gonna look like. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the opacity here and I'm gonna adjust that all the way down just so I can kind of see the color for that but not too much. Um, I think that is pretty good um, just so I can add something to my thumbnail to make it stand out a bit more But I don't want it to be overwhelming because that just looks strange So yeah, I think this is pretty good Then I'm just gonna click on done down here and then we can move on to the next thing that I want to do So this video is focused on the focus feature that is on iOS 16 um, So what I want to do for this is I want to bring in um, a moon icon and some text just to tell what the video is about. So the moon icon is the focus icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add here and I'm gonna go to the shape section here. And um, again, they have a lot of things that you can choose from here and you can even search. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for moon. And um, yeah, they have so many results that come up and the one I think I'm gonna go for is, I'm gonna go for this one here and I'm gonna click on add. So then this is what it looks like um, and I'm just going to resize it a bit and adjust it and then I'm going to go to the color section here for this and I'm going to go ahead and choose a different color. So they have so many colors here that you can choose from. I'm going to go with this color here and um, yeah, that's what it's going to look like then. The adjust category here, the um, nudge is also really helpful if you want to make some finer adjustments. Um, this is really cool to just do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some text to my thumbnail just to, you know, put it all together and show exactly what I'm talking about in this video. I'm gonna click on add and then we're gonna go to text here. So um, what I'm gonna go ahead and type is focus. That's the first thing I'm gonna cover. Um, so click on that. And um, I'm gonna resize it a bit and um, I'm also gonna change the font. So here you can see we have font, we have recommendations, color here for colors, the opacity, you have some effects that we're gonna get to. You can again order this to send it to the back over the front of your layers, adjustments, um, the size of your text you can adjust here, your alignment. Um, you can even curve some of your text or th things like that spacing um, and then style here is just the style of your text so you can see different type of styles so this is also a really cool thing that you can adjust i actually like that font so i'm going to stick with that 
um, but yeah, let's edit this a bit more. So this recommendation section is also pretty cool. They basically find fonts that they think would work good with your thumbnail. So here you can see a bunch of fonts that they chose from. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for. So you can go ahead and do that. But um, yeah, this font is called Harmon. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the color. So I'm gonna make the color the same as this moon. Uh, I can just use this eyedropper tool here, here and just drag it to find a color that I want to pick up on my design here, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to pick up that color, click on done. And um, then I'm going to go to the effects section here and we're going to add some effects. So I want a shadow here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the settings options down here and I'm going to go ahead and choose a different color. I'm going to go with a white little drop down. Um, click on done and then I can also adjust the distance that it is from the text and also the direction that the shadow is kind of coming from. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then I'm going to add another line of text. I'm just going to go to the adjust section just to nudge it to where I want it exactly. Okay, so let's add some more text. So I'm going to click on add again and click on text. I'm going to say on iPhone all in small letters click on done um, and it just gonna gives you this as a default so we're gonna adjust that again so let's go to fonts here and see if I find one that I like so they have so many different fonts on here um, say so they have some suggested fonts then they have some standard fonts then they have um, languages Adobe fonts um, and you can add your own fonts, but you do need the premium version of the app for that. I'm gonna choose this one called Pacifico. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna go with that, and then for the color, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the same colors that I did for my first line of text. So white um, shadow and the purpley text, and I'm gonna adjust that and put it right there. Um, and the last thing I want to do, actually, I want to change the color of this moon to something else. I think I'm going to go for a darkish gray color, um, just because that's just it feels more right for the design. So this is what we have going on so far. Now, the last thing I want to add is just something here. It doesn't need to be text or anything, just something to fill in this kind of blank space. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to the design assets section and I'm going to search for some scribbles or um, illustrations. Let's go illustration. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Actually, this I just searched decoration and here are a few things that I like. The one that I'm gonna go for, I think, is these X's here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and then I'm gonna add that to my design. So I'm just gonna drag this all the way here in the corner and rotate it a bit, and also I'm gonna resize it more, just so it's kind of just sitting here in the corner. I don't want too much, I want it kind of like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the um, looks section and here's a cool tip for you guys if you have something that's like white or black um, to change the color it's really easy to do that you just go to the look section go to duotone go into those settings and then just change this um, color so I'm gonna go and choose white and then it changes that entire design to white um, so you don't have to struggle with not being able to change the color of those little design assets that you want to add and click on done and then yeah i'm pretty happy with that and then this is what the thumbnail looks like when it's completed we have some text we have some design assets that we added we added some photos for a background um we added um yeah a bunch of things here and i think this looks pretty good for a thumbnail um, and yeah it's really easy to do on your phone on Adobe Express. Now they do have some more things that I didn't even cover so if you click on add you have some stickers here that you can add. These are more like GIFs and things like that um, that you can add to your designs. You can add videos um, that you can also add for your design, when you go to the color section, they do have some suggested colors based on the image that I imported. 
um, colors that they would recommend I use. But yeah, when I'm done with my design, all I need to do now is click on the download option here and I can download that to my camera roll. So yeah, that is how I create a thumbnail on Adobe Express, but obviously this is very much based on personal preference. What you would do in Adobe Express, I just thought I'd take you guys along with me on creating a thumbnail on Adobe Express so you can see exactly all the little elements in action. Um, so yeah, that is how you do that on Adobe Express. I hope this helped you guys out. Now, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you, I would definitely give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. I'll leave a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are on Adobe Express. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What is your favorite thing about this app? Definitely let me know. Click on the icon on the screen to subscribe. Click on the playlist to see all of my other videos like this. And click on a video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.